A 93-year-old alleged former guard at the Auschwitz extermination camp has been arrested in southern Germany. 93-year-old Hans Lipschitz was taken into custody in Aalen, Germany, after prosecutors concluded there was enough compelling evidence that he had been complicit in murder. Mr. Lipschitz acknowledges that he did serve with the Waffen-SS at the camp in occupied Poland, but he claims that he was only a cook. Last month, the Simon Wiesenthal Center, named after its founder, Simon Wiesenthal, who dedicated his life to finding former Nazis, named Hans Lipschitz as its number four on its most wanted list of Nazis. A representative of the Wiesenthal Center, Efram Zuroff, recently told AFP News, This is a very positive step, and we welcome the result. I hope this day will not only be the first of many arrests, but trials and convictions of deaf camp guards. According to the office of the Stuttgart prosecutor, an indictment against him is currently being prepared. Prosecutors have pointed to a reinterpretation of criminal law after the conviction of John Demeniuk. Demeniuk was found guilty of being an accessory to the murder of 28,060 Jews while he was a guard at the Sobodor death camp in occupied Poland. His case means that potential defendants might no longer be able to hide behind the argument in court that they were simply following orders. Mr. Lipschitz's wartime identification papers prove he belonged to an SS company deployed as guards in Auschwitz. He was reportedly granted ethnic German status by the Nazis. He has told neighbors and reporters he worked only as a cook and saw nothing of the gas chambers or the crematoria. Mr. Lipschitz is the first person arrested as a result of a series of new investigations launched by the German authorities into some 50 former Auschwitz guards who are believed to still be alive. Auschwitz was the biggest Nazi extermination camp where more than 1.1 million people, most of them Jews, were murdered. One German newspaper has previously reported that Mr. Lipschitz was born in what is now Lithuania in 1919, but finished World War II fighting for Germany on the Eastern Front. He moved to Chicago in the U.S. in 1956, where he lived until 1983, when he was expelled for having concealed his Nazi past. At the time, it could not be proven that he was personally responsible for any killings. He returned to Germany, where his whereabouts in Aalen have apparently always been known to the authorities.